Hello there. Summer means dewy and glowy skin. It also means minimal makeup because the weather is so hot and humid. I've always been on the lookout for products that help me achieve a dewy look. We all want products that are lightweight, refreshing on the skin, do not clog our pores and do not cause acne. Having a suitable skincare routine is of utmost importance even in summer. There are plenty of different ways you can achieve a dewy and a glowy skin and I thought I'll break these categories down for you. The first one is a moisturizer, the second one is a glowy SPF, the third one is a glowy skin tint or a foundation. The definition of a glowy skin is different. For me, a glowy makeup has a lot of focus on the skin. It does not mean having a flawless skin but rather a well hydrated and a sun protected skin. This video concentrates on skin as well as base products that contain subtle shimmer particles, are lightweight and add dewiness to the skin. Not greasy or shiny, but just glowy. Let's get started with a moisturizer and an SPF that are used to create a hydrated base. These are a few of my favorites that can give you the glass like sheen. The Plums Niacinamide and Rice Water range is quite great if you have oily skin and you really want a very lightweight moisturizer through the summer. I got myself the small version of this tube to just to try it out. This is a very small 15 grams tube and it has Niacinamide and Rice Water in it which is very hydrating for my oily skin but also lightweight. Again in the plums, rice water and niacinamide range, there's an SPF. This SPF comes with SPF 50 protection and comes with PA triple plus protection as well as UVA and UVB protection. It does have this glowy and beautiful look to the skin and there are days when I do not want to layer anything else on my skin and I'll just use my moisturizer and top it off with this sunscreen. Look how glowy it looks. Another product that can give you a similar effect of glowy, dewy skin is the Cosarex Advanced Nail Mucin Serum. It is especially good if you have really dry skin. This year is mostly about skin tints and very lightweight products. So you see a lot of brands coming with similar sort of strategies, similar sort of products in the market. Now let's talk about the MAC Strobe Cream and the Lacme Lumi Cream. These are supposedly dupes of each other. This Lacme Lumi Cream is quite similar to any other moisturizers from Lacme. If you have previously owned them, you know how they smell. This is very similar to that, except that it does have some glitter particles in it. I bought this one when they had just released it and this one didn't have any other shades. So mine has pink glitters in it. Next one is everyone's favorite Max Strobe Cream. The product is revolutionary on its own because it does not have any extremely visible shimmer particles and it blends into the skin very nicely. I use the shade Pink Light in this one and as you see it's not as pink as the Lacme's Lumi Cream and once you try to blend it out you will not see any chunky glittery shimmery particles in it. And on the other hand, it will give you a very nice dewy and beautiful look to the skin. You can either use it as a primer before you put on your foundation and on the makeup or it also, you can also use it on its own to give a nice sheen to the skin. Well, now let's talk about some products that can give you the glow as well as some coverage. The first one is the Glowish Skin Tint from Huda Beauty and I use the shade in this it comes with a nice pump applicator which I really like because otherwise you end up wasting a lot of product this one is quite thick in its texture and if you have dry skin in summers then you can really use this product but for oily skin girls it's quite heavy on the skin The next one is the ELF Hello Glow Liquid Filter. 
it is influenced by the Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter, but this one provides a little bit more coverage than the Charlotte Tilbury's one. I use the shade 4 medium in this one and it does not have any visible shimmery and glittery particles and if you use it before application of your foundation it looks really nice and looks like a glow from within. You can also use it on its own and just dab it off with a compact powder, it looks nice. The next one is the Nykaa's Skin Genius Foundation. It's a lovely foundation that gives you a beautiful dewy finish. However, it just comes in five shades and I use the shade 3 Warm Sand. It's a nice foundation, however, I feel that the packaging is a little bit faulty or it might be the issue of the tube that I received. It, the product build, tends to build up a lot in the neck of the bottle, so at times the product just spurts out of it and then you end up wasting a lot of product. However, it's a nice foundation, but since it's a dewy, it does not last that long. To summarize, this is the Huda Beauty's Glowish Skin Tint. This is ELF's Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And this is the Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation. As you see in the swatches, this one, since it's a foundation, it has the highest coverage. But these two can also be used as primers or as skin tints separately. If you tend to build this one up, the, the Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation, it will give you about medium to full coverage. But if you build, put on a very light layer, it will give you a coverage of a BB cream. How do you create a healthy glow? I would love to hear your key products for having a dewy base. Please let me know in the comment sections below on which dewy products you would like me to focus on. Either dewy blushes, dewy bronzers, dewy eyeshadows, or even dewy setting sprays. Let me know in the comment section below. Until then, see you in my next video. Bye.